Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. So, I know the title is kind of like, whoa, what's going on? So I just wanted to like, give y'all like an update of what's going on in my life. Plus, you guys are about to watch the clip where it actually happened. So I didn't want y'all to just get me to just throw on the clip and y'all be confused so yeah we're gonna start like this and then we're gonna go back to the day that it happened so a little bit of backstory i've been just working in this toxic um job <laughs> situation i kind of go into a little bit of detail during my rant when i quit so the next clip you guys are going to see is me actually quitting so yeah let's go ahead and roll that and then we'll come back and discuss how i feel now <laughs> Hey y'all, so today is the 12th. I'm clocked in, as you can see. I, something is just coming over me to just close the laptop and not be clocked in right now. I try not to act impulsively, but this is now going on the third week that I've tried to talk myself out of quitting. Um. I don't have another job lined up. I just have faith that way. Also, I'm I could DoorDash if I needed to. Like, I don't know. I just I I don't feel like I don't know. I'm trying not to cry because I I cry so often with this job. So yeah you would think that me working from home would be less stressful and less of these feelings but really i just feel like i'm being micromanaged i'm being played with like i've been told that i was going to get a raise two weeks ago and it still has not started yet so i'm like why tell me something not follow through with it and all this stuff i'm not going to say the company name just for like any legal purposes in case this video might fall in their lap you know they're nosy as fuck so they might find my video because they like to watch my social media because it's just public so i mean you can't you can't say who can and who can't watch your stuff if you're like public and you're just open or whatever with it so like it is what it is but um I have dealt with a lot with this job, like, as I just stated with the um, money situation. I mean, I'm, yeah, with the pay situation. And I've just been dealing with constant bullying. Like, I shouldn't have to go to work and want to go home. Like, the first of all, I live in Macon and the, the office is in Covington, Georgia. So that's already an hour plus commute there in our plus commute back so that's basically a three hour commute that i have to plan for for two days out of the week because now they made it mandatory for leads since i am a lead to come in two times a week i can't do this anymore like i physically mentally and spiritually cannot do this anymore and i just feel like i would feel better if I just didn't do this because like I don't work weekends on my weekends go so well but when it comes Sunday night y'all I'm back in depression like I will literally cry thinking about having to go to this job and so if I feel this way it's really not it's really not for me um it's just a job y'all it's not something I'm passionate about it's not something that I really feel valued in I just feel like I'm wasting my time. Like, why do we go to college, spend all this money, get in debt and stuff, then we go and get a job that is not even in our field because we can't get a job in our field. And I don't know. I just, last week I um, sat here and prayed and I asked the universe for a sign. I literally said, if this job is not for me, do not allow me to be able to clock in. Um, that very next day, this I prayed for that on Wednesday. 
on Thursday, I was not able to clock in. I was trying to clock in. I have to clock in at 2.30. I was trying to clock in from 2.30. I mean, from 2.15. And I was not able to clock in until 2.40 p.m. And I was like, wow, I am. I couldn't clock in from my phone. I couldn't clock in from my laptop. And nobody else in the company was reporting any issues. So I knew that was my specific sign. Um, I could not clock in. Like I could not clock in. I kept trying. I lost my laptop charger. Like everything was happening at once. And so I was like, oh, this is the sign that I just asked for. And I'm trying to ignore it and say, what? No, not right now. I'm not ready. And da, da, da. But I... The point is I've been ready. Like, I don't feel valued. I don't feel like I am part of a team. I don't want to be part of this team, whatever the hell you want to call it. The position I'm in right now, I have employees under me, unfortunately. So I don't know what will happen to them, but I cannot just live my life in fear of what will happen to other people. Because if the, if the roles were switched, they really don't give a fuck about me. So I... Sorry, y'all. I'm just venting right now. This is not really going in order. So I keep pausing because I'm like trying to process like, you know, I have bills. I have all this other stuff and I just can't, I can't take it anymore. I really can't take it anymore. Um, so then I feel like I'm questioning the universe and God because I asked for something. I was given it and still have not acted in regards to it so it's time every time i go into the office i bring all my equipment because i'm just like this is gonna be my last day and then i talk myself out of it and i'm tired of repeating myself I'm tired of not falling through so i'm about to look up a resignation letter and i'm about to just send it y'all can see like i'm really hesitant but i can't do it i can't let me move y'all down. This video is like really raw too, so. Like, I didn't plan on filming today either. Like, I have a different video going out today. My mind is all over the place. I'm trying to get all my social media platforms monetized. Like, I this is not, this is not what I want to do. Like, this is not what I want to do. But my mental health is way more important than any job or any numbers that they have anything like that so I'm gonna send it um it's 4 52 p.m I literally typed good afternoon this is with this email I formally submit my resignation from effective with I'm gonna have to blurt out the name because I definitely just said it um yeah effective today like this is not a two-week this is it, but thank you for providing me with this tenure at your company, Serena Stewart. I don't really have anything nice to say. So they, I mean, they're aware that I'm miserable here. So I don't, there's no need to sugarcoat it. So I'm just gonna hit send. I hit send. I hit send y'all. They're about to start calling me. I already know. Let me just go ahead and clock out. I used all my PTO already, so they don't have anything to give me. I can't believe I just did that. I literally worked two hours and 43 minutes today. I'm about to call my mom. <laughs>
yeah, so here we are, three days later. Um, I feel actually way better. I literally feel like there was something weighing on my chest and now I just like pushed it off and I can breathe, right? Now we do have reality kicking in where we have bills to pay and stuff like that, but I could not let the fear of bills and adulting as we call it um, stop me from doing what was going to help me with my mental health. Literally, you guys, I was struggling with my mental health at this job. I know some people may watch this and be like, well, girl, every job is gonna be like that. And you're right, it might be, it might not be. I don't like to look at life just in a negative context where nothing can get better and nothing can be resolved. I trust in the universe. As I said before, when I was talking to you guys about the signs and stuff like that, I've been seeing a lot of two, two, twos everywhere. And you know, it was just time for a new beginning. There's really no right time to just up and quit your job. Like that wasn't even a two week notice. That was okay, boom. Like I've been battling with this for months now and procrastinating. And I really felt like I was questioning God and the universe and all this stuff because I asked for a specific sign and basically I received it and just ignored it. So I really felt like I was battling within myself, um, basically just shitting on the sign that I just got. Um, excuse my language, not really, cause we cuss on this channel. <laughs> yeah, that's just how I felt. So I was like, you know what? I gotta be true to myself and I just quit. So yeah, <laughs> update, I'm doing very well. My business is thriving. Thank you guys so much for the support on that as well as thank you guys for the support on these videos because you know, without y'all, I don't know where I would be because YouTube is like my safe place and I feel very safe here sitting in front of the camera just talking to you guys. I'm just a regular girl who just sits in front of her camera and just talks. So yeah, the fact that you guys have been supporting my last uploads and stuff like that really does truly mean a lot to me. I'm not monetized on this platform yet, but you know, we working on it, girl, we working on it. And like I said, I just trust that it all will work out. There is always a timing for everything. And yeah, I will keep you guys updated in upcoming vlogs. So make sure you're subscribed with your notification bell on so you guys can stay tuned to that because as you know, I did just get a new apartment so <laughs> um, yeah the moving vlogs will continue and you know regular vlogs here and there and yeah we're just living life okay I'm just here to live life okay so remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye